Thevenin's theorem. So this is the circuit we are going to use for Thevenin's theorem. And in this circuit, V1 is 10 volt, V2 is 5 volt, R1 is 330 ohm, R2 is 560 ohm, and load resistor is 1 kilo ohm. So we are going to find the current flowing through the load resistor. The steps involved to find the current through load resistor using Thevenin's theorem is the first step is to find the R Thevenin, the second step is to find V Thevenin, and finally we can find the current through load resistor. First step to find the R Thevenin. Here in the circuit, the voltage source are short circuited. And if there is any current source, it should be open circuited. Since we have two voltage source, both the voltage source are short circuited, and remaining we have R1 and R2. And this R1 and R2 are uh, connected in parallel. Right. They are connected in parallel. That is, R1 is connected in parallel with R2. Therefore, R Thevenin can be found by R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 and if you substitute the value R1 is 330 ohm multiplied by R2 is 560 ohm divided by R1 plus R2 330 plus 560 and which is if you simplify you will get 207.64 therefore RTH is 207.64. Six four. Now let's use filter care to find R Thevenin. So first, let's pick breadboard. This is the breadboard. And let's pick resistor. Pick another resistor. Two resistor. The first resistor is 330 ohm. Second resistor is 560 ohm. Now let's pick breadboard to measure. Not breadboard. Let's use. Let's pick multimeter. Measure the resistance. These two are connected in parallel. Let me connect as per the circuit diagram. So that means these two ends are joined and the remaining two ends is also joined. So this is connected in parallel. Right now we are going to measure the resistance using multimeter. So we have to select resistance here. Right then red line to any one of these resistors, either here or here. Okay, so now I am connecting here. And the next black color, it can be connected either here or it can be connected here. So I am going to connect it here. And then I am going to start simulation. When I start simulation, I am getting 208 volt. Actually, the theoretical calculation is 207.64. It is round off to 208. Second step is to find the V Thevenin. So, to find the V Thevenin, let's assume the current going in clockwise direction, I. Right? So, apply KVL to the loop. Apply KVL to the loop. V1 is 10 volt minus R1 is 330 ohm, therefore 330i, then R2 is 560 ohm, therefore minus 560i, and V2 is 5 volt, therefore minus 5 volt is equal to 0. Let's simplify this equation. 
5 minus 330i minus 560i is equal to 0. So, 330 minus 560. So, minus 890i is equal to minus 5. i is equal to 5 divided by 890. 5 divided by 890, which is equal to 5.617 into 10 to the power minus 3 amps. So, current is minus, current is 5.617 into 10 to the power minus 3 amps or 5.6 milliamps. Okay. And um, to find the V theorem, we need to find the voltage across R1. Voltage across R1. There is nothing but voltage across 330 ohm. So voltage across 330 ohm by using Ohm's law, we can find V is equal to I into R. I is 5.617 into 10 to the power minus 3. R is 330 ohm. So if you multiply by 330 ohm, you will get 1.853 volt. So the voltage across 330 ohm is 1.853 volt. And next we can find V theorem. V theorem is nothing but V1 minus voltage across 330 ohm. So V1 is 10 volt minus voltage across 330 ohm is 1.853 and this is equal to 8.146. Therefore, uh, we found V thermin as V thermin is equal to 8.146 volts. Let's find V thermin using picket. For that, we need a breadboard. We need a resistor. We need two resistors. This three thirty one. Another is five sixty one. Let's put the multimeter to measure the various voltage. So we should be selected voltage. We need a power supply. We need two power supply. Now let's give the connection. So this is 10 volt. So voltage is 10 volt. And the second RPS is 5 volt. By default it is 5 volt. So from 10 volt positive terminal is given to 330 ohm. 330 ohm. And then the 330 ohm is connected to 560 ohm. And the 560 ohm is connected to the second power supply, positive terminal. And the negative terminal of the power supply, both the power supplies are connected together. Okay. So now we are going to measure the voltage across these terminals. So this first terminal can be connected either to this terminal or to, or to this terminal. So I am connecting here. And the negative terminal is connected to either this supply or this supply. So I am connecting here. Now we start the simulation and the answer is 8.15 here. 
periodically we found 8.146 which is rounded up to 8.13 step 3 to find load resistor so this is the circuit this is the thevenin's equivalent circuit v thevenin in series with r r thevenin and finally we have included the load resistor also so assuming the current is flowing through clockwise direction we are going to calculate the value of il we know that v thevenin is equal to 8.146 volt then R thevenin is equal to 207.64 and then load resistor is equal to 1 kilo ohm that is that is 1000 ohm right uh, since the current is in clockwise direction let's apply switch offs voltage law KVL so when you apply KVL V thevenin is 8.146 minus minus 207.64 IEL that is a load resistor minus 1000 IEL is equal to 0. When we simplify it becomes minus 1207.64 IL is equal to minus 8.146. Therefore, IL is equal to minus 8.146 divided by minus 1207.64 IL. If we simplify, you will get. 6.745 into 10 to the power minus 3 that is 6.745 milliamps so this is the load resistor so we are done with the theoretical calculation now let's find IL current flowing through the load resistor is it integral so for this also we need the both resistor we need two resistor This two not eight ohm R thevenin this is two not eight ohm and this is one kilo ohm or we can write thousand ohm. This is the load resistor. Next we need a power supply. And this is V thevenin. V thevenin is 8.15. This way I am going to write V thevenin as it is. 8.15. So next we need a multimeter. To measure the current going through the resistor, going through the circuit. All the components should be connected in series. Therefore, I am connecting V thevenin that is 8.15 volt to 232 R thevenin, 2.8 ohm. Next one will be this is 8.15. So, both are connected. V 
fixed from here to multimeter and from negative terminal to multi-ohm resistor and then this multi-ohm resistor is connected to the negative of the power supply. So now the circuit is finished. We can start simulation. I am getting 6.75 milliamps. Theoretically, we found 6.745 milliamps, which is almost equal. And that's all about the previous theory.